Hey, in today's video, let's see what it would take to solve a super annoying issue that comes up all the time in Maya, um, especially dealing with characters, which is uh, sliding feet. So for this example, um, I, I have this uh, character that I was um, playing with, right? Um, I created this guy in uh, ZBrush and just rigged him up in Maya, and it's just a, a funny cartoon character. And let's say um, I press play, and right now he's dancing uh, using one of the uh, Mixamo um, animations, that, which I kind of cleaned up, but you can see if you look closely that his feet are sliding a little bit. And um, I, I thought maybe this would be a good opportunity to show um, how to quickly solve this. So maybe you have a character that's walking or running and you just want to lock his feet down um, in one position during your animation. So how do we do this? So to do this, um, what I would suggest you do is download this free uh, plugin. All right, so here's the free plugin. It's from a developer named uh, Jesse who works as an animator at ILM. Um, and he made this uh, script that allows you to lock the feet of your animated character to the world, right? So go ahead and download uh, this um, plugin. You can give Jesse uh, a thank you or you can download it uh, for free. And once you do, once you download the zip file and unzip it, you should see something very similar. Uh, in my case, it's a folder called uh, JOP underscore lock to world. Now, one thing I have experimented with is if you uh, change the name of this folder, uh, the plugin will not work. So make sure that when you download it, you don't rename your folder. Just leave it um, as is. And all you need to do is just simply grab this install.mel file and just drag it into your viewport. As soon as you drag it into your viewport, whatever uh, tab you have open, right? So I have the poly modeling shelf uh, open. When you drag this on, you will see this little uh, yellow uh, lock appear in your shelf. And essentially that's your uh, plugin to, uh, that you can use to uh, fix the feet, right? All right, so now since you uh, installed it, let's see how it actually works. So in my case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the animation and try to figure out at what part of my animation I would, lock, I would like to lock the feet. So I'm looking at his left foot, for example. So at this point in time right here, I would like this foot um, at frame 103 to kind of stop moving all the way up until maybe the very end of the animation, which is 184. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, frame 103 and I'm gonna open up the little plugin and this is what it looks like. Uh, and all, I'm gonna, all I need to say is say start. So I specified the start uh, at what point I want this to be locked. And then uh, I can just scroll all the way back, all the way to the end of my animation, animation which is frame 184. And uh, that is going to be set as my end. And now if I just press uh, locked to world, right? The plugin does its thing, it's very quick. And now if I press play, uh, you can see that the foot is actually locked in place during the animation right so that's how simple this let's go ahead and do the same thing just for the sake of uh, experiment on his right foot as well right so to do this i'm going to find out where i want this foot to, to uh, stop moving as well so maybe somewhere around here i'm going to say start i'm going to drag and find out where uh, i would like it to not be locked anymore so maybe right here so up, all the way up, up to this point, I would like it to be locked. Press end actually to set it uh, to 99. And now I'm gonna say lock to world, go back. And let's see what happens. So sure enough, this foot is now locked. And then this one is. So that's how uh, great this little plugin is. You can take advantage of it and clean up any uh, animations that you are working on where you need to lock your uh, specific joints uh, kind of freeze them in place. So give it a shot and see if it works for you as well. All right, so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.